Hi guys, welcome back to class. So today we're going to be looking at the color wheel. We're going to have some fun mixing paints. Get your acrylics out, get a brush, and let's do this. So you should already have your color wheel drawn and properly labeled. Here I'm using cadmium yellow, medium hue, cadmium red hue, and Windsor blue. So I'm going to fill in all the primary colors first. And as we know, the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. These colors cannot be mixed. We are, however, going to use these colors to make the rest of our color wheel. Notice that I've used a little bit of water. Just touched my brush on some water so that it's going to glide that acrylic on smooth. So once we finish the primary colors, we can now start mixing and focusing on our secondary colors. So the first one we're going to do is yellow and red, which makes orange. You have to use a little more yellow than red. Generally, when we mix our primary colors, we use equal amounts of the color, but because red is so much stronger and dominant than yellow, we put a bit more yellow with the red to get an even orange. Make sure that you're taking your time and painting in the lines. Next, we're going to do red and blue, which make violet. Now, what you're gonna notice is that the camera doesn't pick up the quality so well. The color looks really dark, almost black, but I promise y'all, it's a purple. We really should call it violet. So I'm gonna paint this on. Stay in the lines wetting the brush when necessary to get a smoother finish and there next we're going to look at the last secondary color which is green so yellow mixed with blue gives us green so I'm filling in my green getting that green smooth so we can move on to the tertiary colors now. The tertiary colors mean we mix a bit more of one of the primary colors into our secondary color. So for example, with this green, we are actually adding more yellow in order to get a yellow green. And when we are ready to do the blue, we're gonna add more blue in order to get a blue green. It's that simple. So, I've gotten a nice yellow green and blue, same green I'm gonna mix in some blue make sure that on your color wheel when you're putting your colors down you're getting a nice contrast and you're seeing the differences I'm sorry that this is a bit out of frame and brought it back into frame so we're getting more of a teal or blue green so if you notice that when you're putting down this green, it's much, this blue green, it looks just like your green, then we have a problem and we need to add some more blue. Next, we are doing, I'm mixing some more violet because my violet was already dry. And we're going to add additional red to make it, what is that? Yes, red violet. So the red, we have to make sure that it's more red than violet. So again, I'm out of frame, I'm sorry, forgive me. And I'm gonna then put this color down. And later on in the video, I actually show you the difference. You get a clearer, clearer idea of the difference in color. So again, it's a bit close, so I'm mixing a little more red. So it doesn't look red, but it looks still looks violet. But more of a red 
violet. So we put that in there. Now I'm gonna do blue violet. So I'm mixing that blue into our previous mixture. And I'm then going to lay down the blue. Just giving you a close up. So we're laying that blue down nice and smooth. Right. Next, we're going to look at using the lighter colors. Now, if by now your water is dirty, the water that you're cleaning your brushes, your brushes in, please make sure you take a little break go wash that water out and get some fresh water because the water will be very dark by now. And if the water is dark, it's going to end up dirtying up these lighter colors that we're about to mix. So again, I'm out of frame. The orange, or the yellow orange was a mixture of the orange and I just added way more yellow, plenty yellow. And now I'm going to mix red orange which should be a bit darker than orange but lighter than red so you have to find you have to make sure you have a good difference you're getting that difference that contrast and that's it please make sure that you label your wheel in a pretty way remember we spoke about how we do our presentation. I'm just doing, showing you a close-up uh, so you can see the differences between each segment of your color view. That's it, guys. Looking forward to see yours. Bye for now.